Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Chris Gildard and welcome back to uh, Warriors Orochi 4. I almost said Dynasty Warriors because, I don't know. I've been thinking about doing some classic Dynasty Warriors stuff on the channel, but let's let's just do this. Learning the true intent of Nobunaga, Liu Bei and his allies were greatly relieved. Joined by the Oda army and the mystics Nuwa and Neja, the coalition forces grew even more powerful. However, allowing no time to prepare their defenses, Athena, uh, Athena of the gods of Olympus attacked the main Uesugi camp. The fight with the forces of the gods was finally escalating into open warfare. A new god has arrived. Our bracelets are, our bracelets are definitely the cause of this, aren't they? I wish I could tell. I don't know why I'm giving Nuwa, like, a very deep voice. I wish I could tell you differently. However, the only way we can find out what's happening is if the gods arrive. <laughs> we have too few day. We have too few leads in... To that. We have too few leads, too little information. Having the gods make a move may actually help us. Even if using the power will also increase the enemies, or even if using the power will also increase the enemies we have to face, it might be better to avoid using it too much. I'm sorry, this is all because I had you search for those, for these bracelets without knowing anything about them. This isn't your fault, Master Perseus. You're doing the best you can in order to save the world. We're so grateful to you. Come on, let's get moving. I'm getting bored here. Ah, oh, hold on, Master Neja. Neja is as impatient as ever. And I just skipped over that last uh, little thing. Um, okay. So we need to defeat 300 enemies using Unity Magic. We need to assist Kenshin and Aya within 3 minutes. And we need to defeat all the Toitomi officers within 10 minutes. Alright. Hopefully I can do all that. Oh, I feel a burp coming. Let's just get into this while I sip my coffee. Good old Timmy Tims. I was actually going to go to Starbucks, but uh, the lineup was... It was only three cars, and it wasn't moving. It was like the guy at the uh, at the speaker. It was just like ordering everything on the menu. So yeah, I was like, yeah, I'll go to McDonald's. Then I go to McDonald's, and McDonald's is like lined on, out, out the uh, parking lot onto the street. So I'm like... Fuck it, I'll get Tim's. I'm a, I must be a terrible Canadian that I, I'm like, eh, Tim's. I'm, I'm just not too big on, uh, their coffee. It, it doesn't, it doesn't taste as good as, um, McDonald's, and the main reason why I was going to Starbucks was because I wanted a mocha. I wanted some sugar to give me some energy for these recordings. And... I got a buttload of editing to do for some uh, some videos, and I've, I'm going to be recording two videos here. Uh, the installation of the other game that I'll be playing will probably pop up soon, and it won't be a spoiler alert, don't worry, it'll be actually the video I did on uh, the last Friday that just passed. So uh, not spoiler alert, I can actually talk about it. Um, which is weird that I'm talking about a video that happened before, but I haven't actually recorded it yet. Time! It's a fucking human construct, man. It's just a creation of humankind, man. Dude. <laughs> it's... Uh, so, like, I, I've been thinking about doing the, that Let's Play challenge for a long time, and I'm like trying to think of when would be the best time to do it, and I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll just do it now. Let's get on a horse. Try to keep our combo up. Okay. So, I'm again, I'm not playing with the, the controller that uh, gives me the, the, the extra buttons, which is stupid. I should be playing with that controller. I might do that for the Oblivion. 
uh, let's play challenge. I don't know. But I won't be doing it for the two stages I do in this episode. So I don't feel like editing that like transition of me grabbing a controller out. And I could leave it in. But, uh, you know, that would annoy me. Um, there was a moment in the uh, Pokemon Let's Go first impressions video where, um, like, I, I got a text or a call or something. I forget uh, what happened, but um, I forgot to edit it out. And I had scheduled the, the, le the Let's Play episode. Uh, for upload, and then, like, just by happenstance, I remembered that that happened, like, the day before, and so I was like, ah, I gotta get this, uh, th this part edited out, and re-render and shit. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, where is Kenshin? And, uh, uh, ah, yeah. I'll do it later. Once I actually, like, work up the, uh, the characters. I'm having a hard time thinking of words right now. Um, so one of the things that, uh, you might notice is that I, in the last episode, I said that I was going to start playing, um, on easy to try to get through the story, uh, on my own, and then play on normal here on the channel. Uh, that way, you know, we can have a, a good variety of characters and stuff and things. I just, I just really want to unlock uh, KG and have, like, KG, Neja, and um, Shahodun for my main, uh, my main team. But I haven't actually gotten f farther uh, in the story. I have been playing a little bit and leveling up some characters. Um, as you can see, I, I can't remember if I was playing as Neja last time. But... No, I, I literally just unlocked Neja in the last episode, right? Yeah, because you unlock him at the end of Chapter 2. So, yeah, you can tell that I have been playing on the side just by the fact that, you know, I'm playing as Nasia. Um, let's switch over here. Try to get some 300 kills and pop one of these. Shu Huang in his uh, awesome costume. Just standing there because I'm grabbing some more coffee. So I am <laughs> update on my Spyro adventure. I've got all of the achievements for um, Spyro one, and literally, Matt like got 100%. Got 100%. Well, 120% for the first Spyro. Got 100% for Ripto's Rage, and uh, I'm at about 50% for uh, Year of the Dragon. Now, the thing is, about that, uh, what was I going to say? There's two achievements that I have yet to get in the second game. And one of them, I forget what it is. It, it It's more of a di difficult uh, achievement than anything. Uh, but the other one, the one that's like making me pissed the most is that it's bugged and it's the one that you have to like kill all the bugs in like icy caves or whatever the stage is called and kill them all in one flight in one super flight and I haven't got that because it's bugged and I have beat like I've killed all the bugs in one go once and, like, what I've read is that, like, if you can't get it in one go, or if if it doesn't pop and you do it in one go, you have to restart the, the whole entire stage. And I'm, yeah. 
I have no patience for bugged achievements. And God knows that once, if they actually patch that achievement, then, like, I'm never going to be able to do it in one go for some reason. It, I just know it. I just know that that's, that's going to happen. I also don't know if you can tell or not by my raspy voice. I, I've got a little bit of a sore throat. Um, it's just, it's dry up here in Canada. But, uh, what, what helps me the most is actually not, uh, Halls, it's not Fisherman's Friend, it's the Buckley's Lozenges. Because they've got a little bit of, like, Buckley's gelatinous blobs in, uh, <laughs> in the, um, in the center of the, the the thing. The lozenge. Words are fucking hard today. Ugh. And I've got to do, like, some recording for another video. Not one of my videos, though. Um, I, I can't speak of this video. Other than I, I, I'm going to be working on it. And that's mo mo mostly... Mo mainly, mostly, why I'm... Uh, trying to get these recordings done um, right now because I've got to edit for like the rest of the day yay <laughs> gotta love gotta love gotta love working when you're off oh well like it Editing is one of the more annoying things about making videos to me, but, like, I actually do enjoy it in a weird way where it's like, you know, I actually feel like I'm learning stuff as I'm going along, so, yeah. And the, the main reason why I haven't been taking, like, Kai and stuff in is because I, I maxed out their bonds. Uh, what I'm trying to do is, like, play as characters who... I haven't maxed out their bonds for, and they can actually survive the, uh, the stages. Okay. I also need to play through this because I, I've actually got a couple of, uh, Warriors Rochi 4 challenges that people have given me, and they do involve characters, so it would be nice to, uh, you know, do those challenges. It would be nice to, uh, oh, okay, we failed that as well. Let's, let's at least try for the, uh, the Unity Magic, I guess. Um, where's the, uh, There you are. I almost called it a Chaos Legion, which is a game that a lot of people say is very much like Dynasty Warriors. And it kind of is, but it kind of isn't. I'll probably touch on that uh, at some point in time. It's actually not a terrible game either. Like, I, I've played a little bit of it. I haven't played a lot, but... Um, Yeah. Uh, trying to, like, focus and kill things and commentate can sometimes be difficult. So, I've been thinking about doing, like, a, a one-off Let's Play of uh, Atelier Rorona for when the Arland trilogy comes out on PS4. Let me know if you guys would be interested in something like that, because, you know... I would be. I would be very <laughs> interested in doing one of those uh, Let's Plays. <laughs> but yeah, uh, 
I am planning to do... I don't know if I'll be doing like a full series of Let's Plays on Nelk, but I will definitely be doing Let's Plays for Nelk. Because... I don't know. Uh, I'm not like a huge, huge fan of Atelier. I fucking love the art for that. But, like... As far as uh, which Atelier characters I have the most experience with, it's Rorona, which was my first Atelier game. Um, and then Eska and Logi was the, the first one that I actually beat, and <laughs> the only one I've beat so far. And then I played a little bit of Shelly? Shell Sh Oh god, I'm I'm trying to find it on my shelf, which is behind my TV. Uh, Atelier Shally, I think, is like the the name of the the game. So Shally, yeah. <laughs> and then I have played a little bit of Totori. Totori, I I have no idea how it's actually pronounced. Um, and very 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 small amount of Atelier Sophie or Ferris. I think Ferris. Fer I think Ferris is the one that's uh, open world, maybe? Maybe it's Sophie. I have no sweet clue. No, it, it was Ferris that I played. For sure. Um, and I've never actually, like, beat any of them. But I really, really want to. So I missed that... Uh, tutorial, but I think it, it, it said, like, those Cyclops can only be beat by uh, unique magic or something like that. Something to that effect. So, back on the topic of Atelier, I've been wanting to bring some JRPGs to the channel, but JRPGs are just really, really, really long. So, you're probably going to see some hour-long episodes of uh, Atelier games when I start doing Let's Plays of those. Like, hour-long minimum. <laughs> They'll probably be, like, two hours long, maybe. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And if, uh, if you guys are wondering why I haven't been as, uh active in the community or in uh, in general it's because I've been super busy uh, the Christmas season has been uh, wrecking me for some reason and uh, yeah just like not even the Christmas season because it was the last few months leading up to this have been just bonkers but I'm hoping to get some rest sometime soon hopefully <laughs> but uh you, you, you gotta take it in stride you gotta just d deal with it you got you gotta just take what life gives you you know when life gives you lemons you don't complain <laughs> Unless you have to eat it with the rind. Okay. Uh. Let's uh, try to take out these last few people. Oh yeah, the, the Cyclops. Cy Cyclopses. Does rage work on them? Not really. Okay. So, is this going to kill them? Yes. So that is the thing. That do that that's the thing that does the thing. And, okay, so now we can go up this way. 
Ooh, so I'm still curious as to when, at least Shahodun. Like, I care more about Shahodun than I do KG. That, that's kind of sad, but uh, it's true. I just want Shahodun in my team. He's my bro, dude. He's my Shaho dude. So the other thing uh, that I'll mention for Let's Play challenges is that uh, I've realized that there were a few that I started but didn't finish, like the One Piece Pirate Warriors No Map Challenge, uh, the Dynasty Warriors 2 HD Challenge, where I was playing the Dynasty Warriors 2 stages in Dynasty Warriors 7. Um, what else was there? Um, the hard mo mode challenge of Dynasty Warriors 4 and Samurai Warriors 3. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, uh, I've, I've added them to the challenge list. And until anybody starts donating at the $5 tier for Patreon, uh, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put my list into a random n number generator, and it's just going to provide me which uh, challenge that I'll do for this week. Um, and that'll be with the exception of this upcoming challenge, because uh, just for the sake of convenience to me, I just wanted to... <laughs> Do a challenge on the same console as my Warriors Rochi 4 Let's Play. Oh, frame rate's dropping a little bit. Okay, let's try to bring some people over here. Oh, oh, jeez. No. Uh, let me keep this up. There we go. Uh, hopefully that kills the Chaos Origin. And it did. Sweet. And I get all that experience. But no level up. Okay. Let's run up here. Take out this uh, this other uh, officer that's just standing up here and doing nothing. So I haven't uh, downloaded like all the DLC yet. Um, maybe that's something I should do is uh, go out and... So I've got like some Walmart gift cards and stuff from my birthday, and I'm probably going to get some gift cards for Christmas, but I should just uh, buy a Xbox card and download the uh, DLC that didn't come with the season pass, just so I can have them and we can talk about them on the while I'm doing the Let's Plays. And I know somebody out there asked for a video on the updates and stuff that happened to Dynasty Warriors 9 and like I did the video on uh, the DLC but I haven't done a video on the split screen co-op, the online co-op or the uh, is that it? Oh the trial version which I was going to download on PC and give that a try and see what, uh, what that would be like but I haven't had the time to do that as you can tell by me you know uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm rushing these Let's Plays lately. Um, I really want to edit them more and give them a little bit more production value, but it, it's just not viable right now. Um, yeah. If I could get uh, ahead of my schedule, maybe, and I'm trying to do that just so that like I can have <laughs> Christmas week off, but, uh, here's hoping that I can actually have my wish. <laughs> hey, 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 stop. Okay. There we go. And I think that's it. I think we good. And... Is that it? That's it. We win. One stage down. What time is it? Hmm.
see that. You know what? We'll we'll see how long the next stage takes and how long I like, get into that goes. Maybe we'll do three episodes in this or three stages in this episode, just like the last one. I'm glad I prepared that ship just in case. Hurry up and get aboard. Ah, truly, truly aid from the heavens. My deepest thanks, Master Zhuge Liang. Let's hurry and run away before pursuit catches up with us. An A rank. We got S on uh, the kills. To, did I get 2,396 kills or 2,007 kills? Because I remember 2007 being an okay year. That's what I was going to make reference to. Um, oh no, 2007 is the S class. So, 2,396. Yeah. Guan Yu has given you a lottery ticket. We're just going to skip this. And we're going to skip this. In the end, we failed to protect the castle. I'm sorry. There's no reason to apologize, Yukimura. If you hadn't shown up, I'm not sure what would have happened. My thanks for your support. Those enemies are too powerful. Athena, Ares, the two capable... Athena, Ares, and two capable of using the power of the bracelets. It will be difficult, difficult to win without using our own bra bracelets. <laughs> Yet if we do use them, it creates the risk of increasing the enemies we will face. So what can we do? We don't have the time to think about it now, Yukimura. The mystics are still holding them up for us. First, we need to think about escape. Chapter 3, Scenario, The New Sages is now available. Well, let's uh, upgrade some officers. I want to upgrade you. What's the max? Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be level twenty. Let's see. I'll give you that. Uh, what's this? Increase the power of your first attack. Uh, no, we want this, this, and this, and then anybody speed. I give like this row to. Um, do you guys have any? Skill points, yeah, Nasia. Uh, I'm gonna give you that. And Guan Yu. Weapons. We want to sell and dismantle. Uh, we want to sort by weapons owned. Okay, so sell, dismantle, dismantle, sell. Uh, base attack of 19. We got one with 22. And oh, 26 with flame appraisal and merriment. Um, is there a way that I can? Okay, wine occasionally appears after defeating an enemy. Cool. So let's uh get rid of the. Oh, uh, I want there. I always mix up the dismantle and sell buttons. Um, I feel like they should be swapped. And that's it. All right, and uh, we're going to. I'm gonna check out our party here. I'm actually gonna leave. I'm gonna take Guan Yu out, swap you for Mr. Kenshin here. Do we have warriors out? Yes. Okay, so they'll be returning in two battles. Let's change the costumes around. And is that it? Are we good? I think we're good. Oh, wait. I wanted to check and make sure. Because I wanted to... Do I want Kenshin? Yeah, I want Kenshin to have that. Uh, but I think I want you to have the original M Mjolnir. Mjolnir? Mjolnir. <laughs> Can't fucking speak. Alright, so new sages. 
Ares and Athena, gods of Olympus. The force they led was almost too powerful to believe. The coalition fought back bravely but was defeated. With the aid of Susano, the, mis the other mystics and the, the other mystics, the coalition army started. Oh my god, there's like a comma missing there. With the aid of Susanoo and the other mystics, the coalition army fit started their retreat. But Ares only pressed his attack. Even worse, an ambush, uh, uh, an ambush lay in the path of the beleaguered coalition. Maybe I should just skip these. <laughs> The scouts have returned. Ares' forces are fighting with unknown warriors up ahead. Likely an ambush by Ares intended for us. Maybe someone new has stumbled into this world and is being attacked by mistake. We cannot turn our backs on people in trouble, especially if they are being attacked because of us. By justice and love, we will save them. Wait a moment. Lord Kenshin is key to our forces. We cannot place him in any more danger. You must be exhausted from fighting. Two, leave this to us and escape. Then I shall entrust you, then I shall trust this battle to you. I'll help too, so don't worry, just get to safety and get some rest. Sh shao shao. Show some respect, please. Don't worry, your justice and love will have been fully imparted. We shall leave this to you, and thank you for accepting this burden. No problem. We shall return with new allies in tow. Alright. So, what do we need to do? We need to win with Zhuge Liang's health. Without Zhuge Liang's fall health falling below 30%. Win without an any allied officers being defeated. And defeat 24 enemy officers within... Tw 24 enemy officers within 8 minutes. Holy fuck. Okay. Well, we got to get into this. And hopefully, uh, Taishitsu's bond will be maxed out by the end of this stage. Okay. Uh, I've been, like... I've been playing so much Spyro, but, like, I want to... I want to finish Spyro. But I've been wanting to play Warriors Rochi. Like it's it's just in me that I I have to beat Spyro. Oh, excuse me. Before I move on to anything else, I don't know why. Sp like the Spyro Reignited trilogy is just so good. Maybe I'll review it sometime. I don't know. Reviews are kind of tough right now with how busy I've been. And, like, just keeping up with two weekly videos it has been hard. And, and I, I feel bad for anybody trying to follow uh, Warriors Rochi 4 through me because, like, I'm so much more behind anybody else out there. <sighs> it sucks being an adult and having a life and stuff sometimes. Like, in all honesty, I would love to be doing um, daily Let's Plays and monthly uh, reviews. Like, that that's the dream. Actually, uh, twice monthly scripted videos with one discussion video and one review happening, like, every month. That would That's the dream for me. I would love that. It would be tough, and I'd, I'd actually need, like, a team of people, but that that's actually, like, where I want to be. If I could do that, I would be very happy with the type of content that I do. It's like, yeah. When you're trying to follow somebody <laughs> who's doing Let's Plays and only doing them on a weekly basis, like, it, it can be tough to finish a story if it's not just something quick. 
Which is another reason why I've been wanting to bring some indie games to the channel. Uh, and yeah, if similar to um, Let's Play challenges, if you guys want me to do any kind of uh, any sort of Let's Plays, just let me know. Because if you're like, hey, um, I've had enough of Warriors Rochi 4 for this week, just to, just do a random Let's Play of Dynasty Warriors 3. I'll do that because like, I just want to. I just want to play games. <laughs> and the longer I do something without uh, being told to stop, the that's just I'm just gonna keep doing it. That's the kind of person I am. <laughs> Not actually, though, because like I, I'm the kind of person who likes change. Uh, I've changed. <laughs> my YouTube channel several times starting off as a musician then going to a vlogger then being like I'm gonna do sketch comedy now I'm gonna do video game stuff and before I had like three channels one for music one for vlogs and one for video game stuff and then I was like you know what fuck it I'm just going full time or not full time I'm gonna go full video games and now we're here and way back when, I used to do um, monthly reviews of uh, the PlayStation Plus lineup and be like, is this month worth it for PlayStation Plus? And uh, honestly, looking back on it, it's kind of stupid <laughs> because, well, like, I, I guess not necessarily because uh, somebody could still watch those videos and be like, hey... I actually like this review that you did, like, and it was just a very short review, uh, giving a slight idea of what kind of game it was, uh, and whether or not I just liked the first, I don't know, 30 minutes of the game, essentially. Now that being said, some of the games that I reviewed on there saying that I didn't like them, I actually grew to like them later. So, also keep that in mind that the first 30 minutes of a game doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, you're going to really enjoy it or really not enjoy it. So that that's why, you know, first impression videos are really good and everything, but reviews are much better. Like, full reviews where you've played... A good chunk of the game, like you don't, I, I don't think you have to finish a game in order to review it. I, I think, well, well, it, let me let me dr draw that back a little bit. It, it really depends on the type of game, because if it's a very story-driven game that you need to, that like the main reason why you are enjoying the game is because of the story. It might be a good idea to play through the story and uh, just make sure that it has a satisfying ending. Um, and then, like, you don't have to spoil it or anything in your review, but just, like, you could say, you know, hey, this didn't have a very satisfying ending leading up to it. It was really good, but just keep in mind that uh, the ending isn't necessarily what it should be uh, for, you know, whatever reasons without spoiling it. But I don't know about you guys. Uh, I'm one of those people who's like, spoilers don't uh, don't hurt me, because it's it's all about the journey for me. It's not necessarily about how you get there, or it's not about the destination. I should say, it is all about how you get there. <laughs> so my previous statement was false. But I have said it several times on this channel. I am more of a gameplay over story kind of person. Uh, but I'm trying to become a more open gamer. Because, like, I, I like a lot of um, arcade-style games, which is why I really enjoy uh, Dynasty Warriors. Um... 
I don't know. I like the, the quick wins kind of games where you can finish a stage pretty easily. But then there's also uh, arcade style games where you can finish a game too quickly. So you, you gotta kind of find the, uh, the sweet spot. You don't want to have too much. So I, f I forget what game it was, but it was a portable game where you could like finish a stage in like less than a minute. It was, I think it was for uh, Vita and PS4. And when you played it on PS4, you felt like you you just you were missing out on like a lot of gameplay because I I don't know. You, you just couldn't... You didn't feel satisfied by the stage. You were like, oh, it, it's over? Which which is what you don't want. Like, that, that's a good... That's a good thing for somebody to say is, well, th that it's over? I, I was hoping for more. But you don't want someone to be like, oh! Oh, you didn't give me enough. Like... Yeah. It, it's very hard to describe right now where I'm like trying to focus on killing. Okay. Are you ready to go down? That's right, I got the divine power from that. Okay. Gotta gotta focus on killing. Damn it. <sighs> there we go. Guan Suo's down. Deng Ji or Deng Zhe is going to be next. And moving on. Moving on up. So we still can uh, win without any off. Wait, what was that? Any allied officers being defeated. Okay, so let's try to keep an eye on the messages. So that we can, you know, make sure nobody dies. Those, uh, there's people, like, all, like, surrounding Zhugliang in the center. So that's, that's where I'm going to go next. I, I think that's a, a good idea. <laughs> I'd take out some of these people. So this is a, a big way force. Who, who are we fighting with that uh, was supposed to be new? I can't keep track of this when there's like no English voice acting. And I can understand like it's an expense that Koi Tecmo has decided they don't want to spend. I can understand that, but I just... Uh, it's annoying. Okay. Switch over. I really hope they bring out the old costumes for this and Dynasty Warriors 9, because, like, my god, I fucking love the old costumes taking them in. And I'd like to see the Dynasty Warriors costumes in this uh, engine. Because everybody looks so good in this game. I guess I'll just do this for now and kill a bunch of people. Okay. 
Okay. So now we gotta go back up here and protect Zhugliang. Was that why Kai? Because why not? I'm sorry. That's terrible. Huh. Judging by how terrible my jokes have gotten, I think I'm just I'm gonna call it at the end of this stage. <laughs> it's it's. Uh, I I need to break my mind for a moment. Kill Kratos. Still love that he's a, an enemy officer in this game. That would be cool if they added him, like, just for the PlayStation version. I'd like to see uh, one game where mascots of all console generations and stuff uh, come together in a fighting game or something, and yeah. I think that would be really cool. It's never going to happen. I just, I'd really like to see Mario and, like, Kratos fight Sonic and Master Chief in a tag team battle. I don't know. I think that'd be hilarious. So, I used to think that, uh, Neja's uh, magic move was useless until I realized exactly what it did and then I was like oh my god I need to use this forever it's like it's actually pretty good the other thing I don't like is that uh, any of the Warriors Rochi characters, their um, rage is just their Muso. And that makes no sense why you wouldn't at least... Oh, hey, Oblivion's done installing. That took a while. But now I can do, uh, do that video when I'm done with this. Though I'm going to take a break and finish off my coffee. Oh, Jesus! Alright. Let's switch over. Oh, I wish this, uh, this gave you, like, extra experience. Like in Dynasty Warriors 8. But... Whatevs. Oh, excuse me. Let's see if we can, uh... There we go. Finish this off with a Unity Magic. Might not finish it off, though. We'll see. Nope, did not finish it off. Well, we'll try to kill everybody using... Uh, Neja. There we go. And I think that's it. Yep. I wish, like, the health bar and the map and everything went away whenever you won. Because uh, as it stands right now, it's hard to tell. So if you're just running around and you're pressing X and you're like, why can't I attack? What's going on? Like, at first, there's no nothing telling me that I won. I see, I see. Things are in a pretty difficult position. If we all work together, however, we can resolve them, just like we did today. 
Indeed we can. Please, let us fight alongside you. You are more than welcome, of course. Three more powerful allies. We couldn't ask for more. We're getting quite a party together. Master Neja, Lady Nua, you are both safe. Pretty much. Ah, let me make the introductions. This is Susanoo, another mystic from our mystic realm. Another mystic from our mystic realm. That, that's a sentence that... Yeah. I will also aid you. It must be unexpected, though, having to fight alongside humans again. Do you feel like... I, I do feel like I've seen you before. Anyway, whether it... Whether this is our first time or just the first time in a long time, nice to have, nice to have you with us. Pang Tong, Lu Su, Hanbei, Susano, and an A. And we got a lot of weapons too. So yeah, I think. Um, oh, excuse me. I think Taishitsu is maxed now. So in the next episode. I will be using some different characters. As it turns out, we asked a man with a close relationship to us to perform an investigation. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. This man called Zuo Tse has now made his report. He has discovered how to control the strange horrors that have come to this world from Olympus. Ah, Zuo Tse has all... Ugh. Excuse me. Zuotsu has also been called to this world. But what do you mean, controlling horrors? The only way to find out is to go and see him. He said he is waiting there with new allies. What do you think? That sounds great! Let's go and check it out, Joe Yu! Yes, good idea. I might be able to make use of these horrors in my next strategy. New allies as well. Sounds promising. I'll go with you. Hundun will appear. All right. So that is everything for this episode anyways. Uh, I'm just going to try to uh, check some things here while I do the outro. So thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if I said that before, but yeah. Yeah. Outros are hard. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more because I do videos every week. Tw two videos every week. Thank you as well to my Patreon supporters, The Guild. If you'd like to join The Guild, you can check the link down in the description below. Uh, and you can join these awesome people at the end of every video for just a dollar a month. Um... Don't forget to click the links on screen. Check out the videos that you're seeing here. And I will see you all down in the comments.